Yo, what up? It's your boy, Gina Guano. Testicles still hurt. It's, you know, it's only been a few minutes since the end of the last video that I recorded, so... You know, you're gonna see a lot of wincing, probably. We're back with part 16 of Yakuza 4. Still playing as Taiga Saijima. We met up with Keito, Kido, uh, who, who was in the Shibata family, who I didn't know was in the Shibata family, and his own family is after him. Uh, so that's that's kind of interesting, and uh, we're going to. It looks like Taiga is going to use Ito to try to find his patriarch uh, Sasai. So that's interesting. Let's keep it rolling. We also somehow beat Kazuma Kiryu in a fight, which doesn't seem correct, but you know. It's right down this hallway, almost there. Down the escalator. This is it. Huh. It's a long story, but let's just say the last tenants here just moved out in a hurry, so I've helped myself with the space. A lot of homeless folks around. This is a kind of, that this is kind of their turf. Where are the squatters down here? You now have access to a hideout. Here you can save your game, move items to the item box, reminisce on past events. View your, view your play stats. I very nearly just pop that blister. Furthermore, your health will recover while at the hideout. Theater underground office. Oh yeah, let me tell you what I know about the at informant. I'm all ears. They say he keeps tabs on everything that happens in Kamarucho, past and present. I don't know who the guy is or how he knows what he knows, but word on the street is that there's not much he doesn't. Wonder how much it's, of it's just a rumor. I'm just telling you what I've overheard. Apparently he pays homeless people to gather his intel. The florist. You might have the best luck asking about them about him. Oh, I almost forgot. Forgot what? The streets are practically crawling with cops today. Better watch yourself out there. All right. Gotta go ask the homeless people about the florist. So stories. Here, kitty, kitty, we got some fish for you. Want some beer? Huh, darn things won't warm up to me. Oh, guys, you aren't you seeing cat's eye, or cat's eye to eye? Or cat's eye to cat's eye with them. Watch and learn. Wow. Yeah, I didn't think so. That's odd. My old cat, Nico, would always come right up to me when I did that. <laughs> They won't let us touch them. We can't check their injuries. And we can't fix them up. Hmm. Huh? What are you looking at? Hey, take it easy, fellas. Hey, pal, are you a cat lover? <clears throat> cats, huh? You are. That's great. Can you do something about these cats? Whoa there. I didn't say I was a cat lover. Ah, that's okay. Anyway, we found these little guys, but unfortunately, they're not letting any of us touch them. 
Yeah, but... They look like they're hurt. We only want to patch them up if we can. It must be fate you showing up like this. Could you try taming these little fellas? I mean, I am a taiga. Yeah, please. If we don't act fast, they'll get weaker and weaker. You're our only hope in theirs. You want me to tame a bunch of cats, huh? Alright, why the hell not? Guess I'll see what I can do. Great, we're counting on you. Little fella's really giving me what for. Now what do I do? Maybe these kitties open up to me if I act sweet, little like a like a sweet little crying girl. Uh, meow. Nah, fuck it. Let me try again. Maybe these cats grew up in a pet shop with dogs. I'll try barking. Rawr. Woof. Arf. Arf. Now it's even more pissed off. Probably ought to try speaking their own language. Meow. Meow. Seems like it finally dropped its guard. Wow, you're good. Poor things wouldn't even give me the time of day. They don't look like they're doing too good. We gotta get some nutrition in these little guys. Ugh, a drink and patch them right up. I hate to ask, but you buy these kittens something uh, you think they'd like? Suppose I can't back out now. I'll get them something real nutritious, like, fuck, I don't know. Wait here. Y'all for lost cat some milk. I'll go pick some up. Excuse me, you know where I can find an info broker? Who, me? Nah, I don't know a thing. Alright. Mind letting me buy so I can ask someone who does? No one's up ahead. You'd be wasting your time. I'd look elsewhere if I was you. Sure, the florist is that way, probably. Ready to fulfill your contract? Yeah. I'll fulfill this contract. Hi. Why? Being held by me? Dumb question. Yeah. Yeah. Fill the contract. Fulfill the contract. Fulfill it. <laughs> You're getting in the way standing there like that. You won't believe this. I found a thousand yen on the ground in the underground mall. A whole thousand? Wow. That's... I know, right? Then suddenly when I was looking, this little shit came up and the money was gone. You lost your cash taking a shit? No, I mean this pint-sized pickpocket at the underground mall. There I was, freaking out about what I'd do if anyone tried to mug me when a child ran up and snatched it away. You're fast, right? Then go on, catch the thief for me. Catch him and teach him a lesson. Gotta say, the only lesson that needs learning here is for you to hold on to your shit better. Let it go. Wow, that's just cold. I hope he goes after you next. Little kids pick pocket, picking pockets in the underground mall. Sounds like a shit storm waiting to happen. Ah, oh, well. Hmm? A homeless guy. Maybe I could ask him about the info dealer. Excuse me, was wondering if I could ask you something. Oh, yeah. Hey, you, come over here. What happened? Asian sauce. 
regular sauce. We'll talk later, just follow me. Hold your horses, old man. Where the hell are you heading in such a hurry? It's the master. He's gonna die if we don't do something. The master? Yeah. He's a famous old man around these parts. Been digging the hole uh, down in the sewers for ages now. But enough chit chat. We gotta hurry. A manhole? You sure about this? It's the fastest way. Just follow me. Easier said than done, old man. How am I supposed to get through a manhole? We got a special tool for opening manhole covers, but you're bigger than a buffalo, so you probably don't even need uh, don't even need it. Anyways, we gotta hurry. Come on. That's a ton of sewage. Over there. Enough bull, old man. Time you told us the truth. We don't like to get rough or frail easy. So do us a favor and start talking. I can't let you go any further. All these years of hard work would have been for nothing. We know you like hiding tons of buried treasure back there. That's why you needed to be digging like this to begin or since the Stone Age. There ain't nothing, no buried treasure. I'll get the hell out of here. It's no fair you hog all that money to yourself. Share the loot, why don't you, Grandpa? Mm -hmm. Come on, this is taking too long. If you're not going to move, then we'll just make you, or have to move you. Oh no, they're going to kill the master. You look like a pretty strong guy. Please get rid of those hooligans and save the master. I'll talk. I'll talk to him. Really? Thank you, kind sir. Listen, Gramps, tell us what we want to know or, or the retirement home. Or it ain't the retirement home you're heading for. Got it? Wait right there. You kids having fun picking on senior citizens? Ain't you supposed to care for the elderly? Who the fuck are you, huh? One of these guys' homeless friends? Doesn't matter. Just let this whole thing go and get lost. So you after the loot, too? You think uh, we don't know what's up? Give me a break already. Kids these days don't know when to listen. Enough talk. We're gonna float both of your geriatric corpses down the fucking sewer! Okay. That's what you think. Get kicked. <laughs> Who the hell is this guy? Some sort of monster or something? Damn it. I think the last you heard of us, old man. Street punks and their cowardly lines never change. You saved my life. Thank you. Thank this guy, not me. He's the one that was doing all the worrying. Master, are you okay? Did they hurt you? Uh. Oh, it's you. Yeah, I'm alright. Thank goodness, I was scared out of my mind. I owe you, sir. You really are something, by the way. What was your name again? Dajima. You? People call me Kenchan, and this here is the Master. 
I didn't come up with that nickname, but call me whatever you want. So why are them punks after you anyways? Been down here looking for a certain something, something important. Then those hoodlums showed up, spouting nonsense about buried treasure and the like. Something important. Yup, ain't even sure exactly what it is. My father only told me about it on his deathbed. That he buried something important beneath the streets of Camarucho. I see. He told me uh, the general location, but we got more sewers and newfangled underground malls cropping up every day. Makes things harder to find. So you mean he buried whatever it is before all this was built? Exactly. I reckon during the war. Wow, that's a long time ago. So how many years have you been digging? Well, heard about my, from my father about it when I was 50, so I reckon maybe 25 years, give or take a few years. 25 years. Master, this guy's pretty strong. How about asking him to help you dig? And why would I do that? You've been saying your back hurts, right? And you're not getting any younger. Oh, shut your trap. I still got it in me. You don't have to be so hard-headed, Sajima-san. Will you, uh, will you help the master dig? Please? You've really been digging this whole 25 years? Pretty much. I see. Well, I'll help whenever I got the time. Seriously, kid? You ain't even involved. Might not be anything in it for you, either. Consider it karma. Plus, haven't had a good workout since coming to Kamrucho. Don't worry about it. You've been here for, like, 40 minutes, dude. Perfect. You just might be what we're looking for before you pass on, Master. Will you quit talking about me dying already? Jeez. Sajima, was it? If I may, I may talk a lot, but I can't stop the years I'm piling on. Honestly, this old man would probably be really happy if you lent a hand, even if it's only for a little. Got it. I'll come by when I and help when I can. Thank you. I'm son, I'm in your debt. Ain't much of a reward, but I guess... Uh, but do, do you know about revelations? We're gonna get revelations through hard work instead of photos. Jeez, I'm crust. Revelations. Yep, revelations allow you to learn new techniques by observing various events around town. Might just be able to discover something new if you capture those decisive moments in material form. How would you know he was talking about a camera? But I don't have a camera. Never been so, uh, much good with machines anyway. Same here, couldn't afford it either. That's why I use these babies. Of course, why not? A hammer and chisel. I'll give you some good carving wood too. There's a, uh, use that hammer and chisel to carve the events you see. Ask Kenchan about what's going on above ground. He may have some good information. I think I get it. I'll give it a try. Got a wood carving set. Christ. Well. Looks like I've settled things here. Time to investigate that legendary info dealer. Wonder if any hope almost might know. Thanks for coming by, Sajima. Here to help out? Yep. I owe you. Alright, pick a place and start digging. Sewer path. The sewer path, is it? Where it's set to go, then? You're gonna need to use a pickaxe to whack your way through the rock here. I think I had a big one lying around somewhere. Should be the perfect size for you. If you wanna make this into a real workout, how about trying to finish in one minute? Charge up before swinging the pickaxe, set the rock face in a single blow. You'd rather take your time though. Be my guest. You ready? Ready. Oh. Alright then, let's get started.
I can't believe a place like this existed under Kamarucho. What is it? It's so big. I think it's an air raid shelter. Air raid shelter? Yeah, used during the war, I reckon. I'm sure it's got a good deal of historical value, too, being in such good shape and all. Is that certain? Or is that certain something of, of your old man's down here? No, it should be a tad deeper according to what he said. Huh. Hey, look at that. What now? It's side. It says this place is called Air Raid Shelter Number One. And just beyond these rocks here is Air Raid Shelter Number Two. Well, we ain't got no other clues to go on. Let's just try digging. Hmm. There's something on the ground. It looks like a book of on the art of war. It's full of different fighting techniques. Hold on. This is some credible stuff. I bet I could use it. This here. Looks like you got a reward after all. Wish I could pay you properly, though. You know, with money and all. Nah, don't need money. I found something just as good. Better, even. Plus, I got a pretty good workout. Thanks, old man. You learned the wind-up top. Come back whenever you can. I'll see you uh, to the entrance. You'll be digging air raid shelter number one west. Uh, we'll set to go then. There's a trick to breaking these here rocks, so I'll be the one to doing the digging this time. But we might run into falling rocks from the impact of breaking these. I need you to hit those before they hit us. These rocks are brittle enough for you to shatter with your bare fists, so whack them good and we'll survive. I can't take too many hits from them rocks, and you'll be putting yourself in harm's way too, so make sure you're ready to go before digging. You ready? Yeah, let's go. Protect the master. Oh shit. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Get up! Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Dead ant. Hmm, guess this ain't the place. 
So you saying it was wrong? When you think about it, that sign's lying on the ground. I bet it used to be somewhere else. I get it. So we gotta look for the place it used to be originally. Bingo, hold on. <clears throat> hey, Sarge, you look, another book. Another one? Let's see. This one's about martial arts, too. This technique will come in handy. Two in a row. That's funny, but could be some sort of clue. If we find more, it might uh, mean there's some kind of link to that thing your old man left behind. Yeah, I reckon. Wait a second. Could that hole be? I knew it. The side was there. So breaking this rock will open up path air raid shelter number two then? Then it's settled. We try digging here next. Oh, when you got the time, of course. No sweat. I'm just glad I can get my hands on this book. Unarmed attack power increased. Come back whenever you can. I'll see you to the entrance. Alright. Hey, Saijima san. I know you're here. Why you're here. You want to know about revelations, right? I was just walking around the Kamarucho Central parking lot. And here's some kind of kids having some professional killer in the area. Might be something worth investigating. Why don't you go have a look? Okay. These vendors? Hey man, looking for something to eat? Wait, you don't have any points. Points? Don't you guys take money? Nope, we only take special points to use down here in the underground. If you want to learn more about them, go ask the guy at the top of the stairs over there. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's the way out. Hey there, buddy. Yeah, not too often I see guys like you down in a place like this. I mean, yes, you're concerned about the slow deterioration of our natural environment. But you've come to me, the expert on all things grassy and green. Uh, actually, I... Relax, big guy. I won't bite, but I will drop a big old knowledge bomb on you. You ought to know how... Or, you know how much trash gets collected in Kamarucho in a year? 22,000 tons. 60 tons every day. That's as much as two humpback whales every day. And that doesn't include the litter strewn about, uh, strewn around town that nobody bothers to pick up, which, trust me, is a lot. So I've devoted my life to making this city as clean as possible. Yes! And? Hmm. What's any of this got to do with me? Oh, right. Around here they call me the Mean Green Machine, no matter how high the trash stacks. I'll always be there to whisk it away. Speaking of, trash has something of a special value down here in the underground. What do you mean, value? You heard me. Down here, trash makes the world go round. Ditch your cash, bring some trash. I'll appraise whatever bits of trash you give me and give you the appropriate number of points. Here, take this. You got eco points. With points, you can buy all sorts of stuff. Items, food, equipment. Though, of course... This only applies to the shops we run down here in the sewers. Oh, and keep in mind, any trash you've got is worthless until I get my hands on it. Don't worry, I won't rip you off or nothing. One more thing, just because you have a piece of trash, that doesn't mean it's gone forever. Someone's bound to litter again in the same spot if you wait long enough. Anyway, why don't you start with that little speck of smut over there? And just bring it to me. Hey, stop by what I can trash what I can trash for you. Raise trash. That's 150 points, thank you. Come back when you got your hands on some more trash. Don't forget to have a clean day. You're searching for the city's in biggest info dealer, the florist, right? If that's his name. 
That's what his clients call him, anyway. It's because the info he sells gets delivered inside flower bouquets. Sounds real romantic. So how's a guy meet this florist? The thing is, no one really knows. With all, all the crazy stuff that's happened around uh, here over the past few years, it seems like every time a major crisis hits the city, he uproots his headquarters and relocates. Any idea where he's planted himself now? Don't know for sure, but there's a rumor going around. I'm listening. I heard you can get to his hideout through the back of the public restroom at West Park. You mean the John at the north end of town? That's the one. I'd start it there at West Park if I were you. Alright, thanks. And we get fucking info? Fuck. Yeah. Man. Fine. Oops. See the floors. West Park's crapper still ought to be to the northeast. Alright, we have a couple of, uh... We have a couple of... Options. We'll get some cat food. That's dog food. Um, I take the dog food. We're also going to look for cat food specifically. Oh, you know what? I went for milk. Alright, no milk here. What was that? Oh, we got the milk. Back to the kitties.
Drink up. Gave them some milk. Meow, meow. That buoyed them up a little. They should be fine for now. Thanks a lot, pal. Thanks for all the bother. We really appreciate it. Meow. Hmm? What is it? Oh, is this for me? You got tiger stripe cat pendant. It's some kind of pendant. Looks like it opens too, huh? Something inside. A note. Though the theater, wood grain floor. The hell does that mean? Can't do much with this, can't uh you so you can have it back, but thanks for the gesture. Yeah. Huh? You too, huh? Another pendant. This one's got a note inside too. Phone poster. Four green X's. Check the wall. What's this crap? Hey, did it give you some kind of treasure? Nah. Nothing like that. Let me see. Whoa, we might have really hit the jackpot. Here, I thought they were just a couple of flea bitten cats. They may be these geese, or the geese that laid the golden eggs. We found them first, you know. That means the notes belong to us. But he's the reason these uh, fellows are so friendly now. Don't listen to him, pal. You go and take those pendants. What in tarnation, darn fool? I have to admit, he does have a point. I ain't sure what's going on here. But do you want me to follow these directions? Well... Well, maybe I'll check it out when the mood strikes. Okay, fellas, you wanna play? Hey, look! They seem to like you just fine now. I can't take them, so you treat them good, alright? You bet. Oh, y'all are still here. Wood grain four. Grain floor, bone poster, green forexes. This is about the cat's notes we're talking about. Bose, check the wall here. Check the wall here. Here goes nothing. What the? Two big circles on the ceiling. Check the lights on the fire hydrant box. Is this where I'm supposed to go next? What? Fire hydrant box? What's down here? Come on, give us back what you stole already. Uh oh. Don't even think about trying to run. Hey, what are you doing? Huh? None of your business. What's it to you anyway? Get lost. Or a bunch of men in suits. This don't look too gentlemanly. Please help me. Not so fast. You, I thought I told you to get lost. It's clear as a kappa you're up to something shady shit. Wait. Which isn't your problem, so beat it already. When someone asks me for help, it becomes my problem. Especially when they're surrounded by a bunch of suits. Great, we got us a wannabe hero. Look, this is one damsel in distress you don't want to save. Meddle in our business and there will be real consequences. They had a threat? No, it's a promise. Playing here over some woman you never ever, never even met me will get you killed. Hey, dumbass, hello in there. I guess you're ignoring my warning. Yes, I am. Huh? Then you painted us into a corner. Try not to get your blood on my suit. I'll get your blood on your suit. Nobody makes me bleed my own blood. Nobody.
Chabuya. I just got that dry clean. Your bark is sure worse than your bite. Thank you. My name's Sayori, and you are? Uh, Suzuki. Well, thank you, Suzuki-san. Lucky me getting saved by such a manly hero. I'm glad Chivalry is dead. What's up with these suits, anyhow? You having about stealing from them? <laughs> That's not important. But speaking of your heroism, I wonder if I could ask you for one more teensy little favor. Would you take this CD-ROM to a man waiting in the subway tunnel, then bring me the briefcase he hands off to you? What's a ROM? That what you stole? Er, yes. That shiny plate got some kind of value or what? More than you can imagine. It's what inside that counts. Oh yeah? I don't get it. You don't have to believe me to help me. I'll compensate you too. Will you do this for me? I saw a lady in trouble and stepped in to help. That's it. Don't want nothing to do with your seedy rom schemes. Do what you like, but if you ask me, this kind of business is way too risky for a woman. Now you're being sexist. It seems I can't persuade you, then? Seems that way. Fine, then. I'll go by myself, alone. But please, if anything happens to me... No, never mind. All right. I suppose this is it. Farewell. And we all know it's not it, but, you know. Go up. Um, I don't, I don't know how to continue with the sub story we're on, but let's just go to that save point over there at the baseball or at the uh, batting cages. Part 16 of Yakuza 4. Continuing on with Taiga Saijima. We found information on the florist. We gave some cats some milk. They sent us on a wild goose chase. Good stuff. If you like the video, like the video. If you want to see more, like it, subscribe. And then until next time, see you when I see you.